that your organization is merging with another company and you need to establish the BGP pairing between the two networks. Outline the steps you would take to ensure successful BGP pairing setup. Okay. So this is a simple question where we need to like merge two or more like companies together as well. So here at the moment, let's say we have a company called X and then here we have a company called Y. And basically these two companies have a few routers at the edge and the merger has ha happened like these two devices has to merge together to represent like a big company. So, and what we need to do, we need to uh, configure the BGP neighborship between the same. So first of all, like we need to determine like what type of BGP design we are going to have, like single home, multi home, single multi home, dual multi home, we can have different, different types of design. Maybe we have two routers at the company X and two routers at the company Y, and we might want to go for the full mesh kind of design, or we might want to have like partial mesh kind of design, single home, dual home, single multi home, dual multi home. So first of all, we will plan like uh, what type of design we are going to have when it comes to connecting like these two devices, these two companies, these two organizations, if I say. Then we are going to uh, get the information. So first of all, what type of design we are going to have, like single home, dual home, single multi home, dual multi. Second thing, we are going to find out here, like the subnets, the IPs that we will use to form the BGP neighborship, of course. Uh, it, it could be like eBGP, it could be like IBGP. If you want like everything to be part of the same BGP autonomous system, then we can configure the IBGP neighborship. If you want like to have uh, eBGP running between them, then that is also okay. Maybe maybe this company is already uh, uh, running BGP AS 100 and this company is already running the BGP AS 200. So in between them, we can have this eBGP neighborship. Or maybe when the merger has happened, we might want to use the same BGP AS in between the both. So if, if con considering that uh, here, considering that here we are going to configure uh, eBGP neighborship, we are going to find out all these necessary parameters, such as, for example, the IP address, AS number, what routing policies, what routing policies we need to apply, right? And uh, other BGP configurations, such as, for example, eBGP multi-hop and all that, like uh, uh, TTL security, or like a password, all the necessary things we are going to gather. We are going to collect all the necessary information that will be required to form the BGP neighborship between two devices. Right now, uh, so we are going to find out like what kind of design it is going to have, like single home, dual home, single multi home, dual multi home. Then we are going to have like uh, the information about the IP, AS policies. Uh, is it going to be like eBGP, IBGP? If it is eBGP, eBGP multi home, TTL security passwords and all that thing we can configure. Then like said, once, once we get all the necessary information, then in the third step, we are going to configure these routers, configure leak, uh, these like edge devices, edge devices. We are going to configure BGP, 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 BGP. We are going to configure border gateway protocol on there. And the BGP, we are going to configure with the appropriate configurations that we have got in the second step. Once done, we will validate, we will verify, we will verify that the BGP neighborship is up by using the command show IP BGP summary, show BGP IP for unicast summary. By using certain commands, we are going to val validate that the BGP neighborship is up and stable because flapping might also happen. So make sure that the BGP neighborship is actually stable as well. Right, we can do the connectivity test again using the tools such as, for example, ping and trace. So verify in verification, we can use the tools. We will verify the BGP neighborship. Then we can use the tools such as ping and trace to uh, see if the packets are actually flowing from one point to the point or not. And next, next, what we can do next, we can uh, in the fourth step, in the next step, what we can do, we can now optimize the BGP neighborship as per our requirement. We can optimize the flow. We can optimize the flow as per our requirement by optimization. What I mean, I might want to send the entire traffic from here, but receive from here. We want to configure some sort of traffic engineering based on the BGP configuration. So we might want to do that. So we are going to optimize the flow by applying certain policies between these devices. We can apply the policy to control how traffic exits and how traffic enters in the BGP autonomous system. Right, we can also perform, we can filter, we can filter all the unnecessary prefixes 
with the help of variety of route filtering mechanisms that are available, such as, for example, ACL, prefix list, the spark list, and the others. Once done, once all is done, once you have, then again, we are going to do the, some verification using a ping trace tool. We will validate. We will validate all the configurations that we have done. We will make sure that the traffic is sent is is being sent from the appropriate path, and the traffic is being received from the appropriate path as well. So once we are going to validate all that information, then at the next step, we are we can also implement uh, a certain like you know security related policies, such as for example, we are going to enable uh, SSH so that we will be able to manage these routers remotely as well. Once the uh, neighborship is there we are going to implement we are going to uh, configure some passwords for the bgp neighborship TTL security all those security related policies we can configure as well right so first thing to summarize first thing we are going to decide what type of design we are going to have then we are going to collect all the information that is required information such as like ip as number uh any any particular password that we need to configure or the routing policies that we need to configure we are going to collect all that information then we are going to use the configuration command to configure the bgp once the bgp is configured we are going to verify the bgp neighborship we are going to verify the bgp neighborship by variety of commands once we have verified the neighborship we are going to uh, exchange the routes and everything once the route exchange process is done then we are going to do the ping and trace to validate the end-to-end -end connectivity. And then at the end, we are going to uh, monitor the BGP neighborship and maybe we are going to optimize the BGP neighborship as per our requirement. By optimization, we mean that once the neighborship is there, uh, what we mean like uh, we might want to send the traffic from one of the router, but might want to receive the traffic from the other router. So some sort of traffic engineering we might want to do as well. So those things we can uh, we can implement here and once done final verification after the final verification again we are going to use the ping and trace to uh, cross check like if the traffic is following the intended path as defined in our policy or not remember when the migration like uh, maybe maybe the company that we have here company y is already running some bgp autonomous system and you want to migrate from one autonomous system to the autonomous system you can use the concept of like uh, confederation autonomous system, which is very useful. Like if you have when when the merger of two or more company happens, they can retain their own autonomous systems, AS200, AS100, and they can be thought of, they can be made of a part of a big confederation autonomous system. So we can also use the concept of like confederation autonomous system, where we can uh, define like a confederation AS, confed AS in between the devices or rather than changing the AS of one autonomous system to something other. Now that, that, that thing can also be done. Right, so these are these are a few things that uh, we should take care of, that these are the few things that we should uh, consider before, you know, migrating or before merging one organization to the other organization.